Hey folks, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We're gonna take on Sigma Ethylene, and I'm gonna be perfectly blunt. I'm not very proud of my solution, but it's a solution. So, Sigma Ethylene is the other board on Phidolaeus, where you can't control anything but the internals of the reactors. You have two reactors that pipe into each other, you have to get Sigma Ethylene out to the top cargo ship. You have to get Ethylene out to the bottom cargo ship. Your Sigma only comes into your bottom reactor, and your Hydrogen comes in, only comes into your top reactor. And these guys chain into each other. Hint one, you're going to have to build your carbon out of Hydrogen. Once again, you're going to have to learn how to count to three with flip-flops. Twice. Second hint. Simply sending the Sigma up to the top reactor is a lot easier than trying to build it with hydrogen in the bottom reactor and then shipping it up. Third hint, your bottom reactor is going to be a slacker. All right, let's get going. Let's start off in the bottom reactor. Hey you, buddy. Uh, let's start it here. We're doing in on beta. Grab me some diatomic sigma. Drop me off some diatomic sigma. And ship it. Thanks. I only need one of these for every time I ship ethylene. So, now sink. Blue will then sink. Um, let's see. Sink. Do an in on alpha. Grab something. Drop something off. Sh ship it. And tell Reddit's allowed to go again. Oh, that's one reactor. I'll figure out exactly how blues are going to be lined up later. Um, I should tell it where I'm dropping off this diatomic sigma. So that's going out the top pipe into the bottom pipe against the floor down here. I may move that around because it's, that bottom reactor's got plenty of time to do whatever it bloody likes. So first batter, we have carbon to build. Okay, um, I need to remember what's my best method of this. Okay, we come up this way, we do an in, we do a grab, we fuse twice so that we can prime the pump. We come round. The second, um, remember where I want these? Actually, you don't need to be that long. There we go, that's a little better. The second time, I want to get bounced back in on a flip-flop. We go through again, go through a th third time, and now I have carbon, which I will grab. Drop there, and back into the process, or I will drop there, and figure out what I'm doing with it. So now that we've built that, we need to attach a couple of hydrogen um, atoms to it. So we will tell Red to sync up and hang up for a second. And we're probably going to send that down here to get Sigma. This Blue's job is going to be to feed the Carbons and the Sigma uh, some Hydrogen. So 
So blue. Let's start blue here. Okay, blue gets synced. Oh, blue does an N on alpha. Do a grab here. I'll tell red I'm ready to start. Red will unbond, blue will bond. Red will hang out again. Blue has it by the hydrogen. So we'll rotate this way twice. We'll drop it. And we'll do another, oops, we'll do another in. Come across. And so it can drive it home. Hopefully I've got these bonding, bonder orders right. I need to rotate it this way. Do a bond once. Um, if I come across this way, if they're grabbed on that, it'll rotate down. That's fine. So let me drop it there. I can come around. I hope that's right. Let's see. No, bonder order's wrong. Okay, still not working the way I'm hoping. Why is that one bond not firing? Is my red in the wrong place? Yes. Yes, it is. I can start red. I can start blue here. There we go. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Got to unbond and rebond again. Okay, so on this point, we will sync. Red will unbond here and sync again. There we go. Um, not quite how I saw that working out, but that's okay. I can work with it. Actually, it'll be faster to swing it back than anything else. Anything else would take two cycles. This will take one. So. Okay, that gets that going. And blue... Tells red it's allowed to go. Uh, red's going to swing through this way, I believe. There we go. Red will now do an in on beta, snag it, need to snag it there, come up this way, drop it, Hmm. Now I need it to resync here. 
for the um, unbonding setups. So we'll sync it there so that blue will start up. It will be here for the unbond rebond sinkings. But first, we're going to bond the heck out of it. We're going to bring Sigma up to triple bond so that it stays correct for the rest of the pattern. And down here, when Blue says it's done, we will flip-flop ourselves out. Oh, that's a little crazy. It should work. Let's see if I've lost my mind. Uh, it would probably help if I shipped that one, but we'll come back to that. Okay, so that's working. Uh, blue, I need you to ship, please. Now, we do have a problem that Blue's going to try and sell Sigma. But we'll come back to this theory. Okay, so that's working so far. Okay. That's actually very easily handled. Let me mark up this output. Yep, that's correct. There, that'll work out better. Okay, so with blue. If I flip-flop it. Um, I just screwed up where all of this is. Okay, I think it's rid of that problem. So it comes through here, and now it's got it by the hydrogen in a weird way. Come this way, drop it, sell it, and then I just feed it back into our system. That should work out. So that breaks up. We deliver that. This gets spun round. That comes through that way and gets delivered. The sigma diethylene comes up. In the meanwhile, I want to make sure this worked as I expected. Yep, double bonds it, and that should be fine. This comes through. Does its sync set up? Does it again. Now it drops that up there, ships out, sinks red back into the pattern. Excellent. Okay, we have a solution. So red's going to sit here and build out uh, twin carbons for us, then blue's going to come through and attach all of our hydrogens. That'll get shipped off to our other reactor. Afterwards, red will come through, grab us our diatomic sigma. Blue will repeat the process as though it was a pair of carbons. Um, and then on a flip-flop, ship that up to the other freighter. Our other reactor simply grabs some diatomic sigma, sends it up to us. And actually, I wonder if I can speed things along in the other reactor just a hair. 
if I grabbed it up here on the sink? Yeah, maybe. You know what? Let's see how it works out. Twenty nine sixty nine cycles. Actually, that went a lot better than I expected. Well, it's a definite improvement on my old solution, that's for sure. 95 symbols, two reactors. And we completed the challenge in 6,000 or less, which I forgot to mention was a challenge. Sorry about that. So that opens up the final board for uh, Flideus, which is Freedom of Choice, which will be our boss fight for this board. But that'll be for our next episode. As always, I want to thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment or a like. They're always appreciated, and I'll see you next time.